Hello my friends, today's video is an exciting one. We will be checking out the Etude Glow Fixing Tints. Now you guys specifically asked for this and I got all 5 shades while I was away in Seoul. So we're gonna do a good old review, live lip swatches. I'll be talking about the formula, application, my thoughts on it. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, let's talk about packaging. Personally, I am a very big fan of it. As you can see from a design standpoint, it's very easy to identify that oh, this is gonna be like a watery, glossy kind of finish because the packaging kind of reflects it. It's simple but still retains the original design point of the original fixing tin itself. The only difference really in terms of finish is that this is plastic and also like transparent. This is a soft matte finish. There is a slight difference when it comes to the applicator itself for the glow fixing tints slanted to the side like slightly just a little bit more but it you don't really feel a difference on the lips. I do think they made it like this because they are trying to catch like more product when it's slanted like that. So when you apply on a lip, there's more product, which I'll get into the formula in a little bit. The lip tint color is the body of the lip tint itself. So it is a very good, you know, easy to grab like knowing that I'm getting this color. For the price point of these lip tints, I got these in store but I was still in Seoul. So I got these at Olive Young for 11,000 won. I believe you can get these at two places. You can get it at Yes Style and Olive Young Global. I do have codes on those websites so I'll put the codes on screen you guys can use my code to help you save some money if you like and it is a commission code so if you do use it thank you so much now moving on to the formula of these lip tints I feel that they are more of that water gel hybrid formula that a lot of K-beauty brands are doing right now but the thing about these lip tints is that they actually feel somewhat moisturizing like low-key a little bit like a lip oil especially when I like purse my lips together and rub it together I actually can feel some of that slickness to it but it's not like a slip and slide everything is going everywhere that kind of thing no it just has that moisturizing feeling on my lips which is super comfortable to wear on top of the water gel hybrid formula the coverage of these lip tints are meant to be layered so one layer alone by itself which is what you see on my lips currently they really don't have that much coverage itself I felt that I kept dipping back into the lip product quite a bit one dip is able to cover half of my lip with a substantial coverage so if you try to like apply even the slightest bit on the top lip there really isn't much product left on the applicator so you really have to dip back in and just go in with that full swipe personally I felt that I kept dipping back in and out of these lip tints to get the right coverage that I like because I like my lip tints to be a little bit higher in coverage when it comes to like the color and I just want it to be a bit more out there so I found that to get the most optimal coverage and substantial amount of dew I think best is to go in with at least minimum two layers because I feel that one layer alone by itself which is like what you're seeing on my lips currently right it just gives like a little bit of color barely any dew at all which is you know when we buy a product like this we low-key want a little bit more than this so I'm gonna go in right now with the second layer so as you can see close up there's still a little bit of color but it definitely shows like my lip lines and everything so second layer I feel with the first layer on it kind of just get absorbed into like the lips really really fast to the point where you're like what's on my lips even it's not really giving now as you can see with the second layer on the dew is much more obvious as well as the color opacity definitely as you build more layers it's gonna get more pigmented on the lips one thing I really like about the glow fixing tints is the fact that the more you apply these layers on top of one another after like giving it some time to sit right the better it stains your lips in terms of staining power the glow fixing tints definitely has one of the better staining powers of all the like watery glossy lip tints for what it is in general when it comes to these type of k beauty lip tints i think there are three main factors at play at least glossy watery finish of it the color coverage staining power as well they kind of like tweak these three different factors so example if you're like super watery glossy lip tint maybe the color coverage is not the best and you have to like layer it a lot or maybe like the staining power is meh kind of thing so they kind of like play around with these three factors for the glow fixing tints i feel that the watery glossy finish is kind of toned down to the point where it's a dew 
it's not really like in your face water dew kind of thing. In terms of color coverage, once that second layer goes onto your lips, I would give it like 80% coverage because 20% you still can see your natural lip. And in terms of staining, it does stain pretty well. But here's where I have a gripe with the product. You're like, wait Crystal, didn't you say that it stains well? Yes, but when it stains, it doesn't stain your lip evenly throughout your whole lip. It kind of does that old school water tint where it stains the inner lip darker and then the outer lip, it barely stains it a little bit. However, I must say that it is not as drastic as compared to old school K-beauty lip tints. But I don't think anyone will really like notice it per se unless they like stare at your lips. But it's definitely one thing to take note. When it comes to blotting, just like any K-beauty lip tint that does this watery glossy formula, you will lose the bit of dew to it. You notice like a significant amount of like that wetness on your lips but it's like maybe 20%, 30% I would say still a significant amount compared to other water dewy lip tints where you completely lose everything. So I've been talking to you guys for a little bit with the second layer of the lip tint on correct. You can see that the colour now it's definitely way much more pigmented compared to like the first layer on correct. And also there's a little bit more shine to it. It's not completely wet and glossy like a lot of other KBD lip tints out there right now. It's just like a hint of dew to it. I'm going to quickly run through some comparisons that I've noted down on my iPad so sorry if I keep looking down. Let's start off with the ROM and Dewy Full Lip Tint. Now this was the first lip tint that came to mind. It's the most similar in texture and finish. In terms of layering, Etude's application is much more even because the layers just mesh into one another so so well. ROM Man looks kind of thick and uneven. It's kind of splotchy. You can see that it's like double layers in a sense. And in terms of adhesion, Etude is much better. So think of Etude's glow fixing tint a step much much better than the Rom and Dewy Full tint. Another lip tint I want to compare it to is the Rom and Glassing Water tints. This is my favorite water glassy lip tint. And in terms of formula, texture, finish, they are very different. So don't be mistaken by the name. For the Glassing Water tint, it's much more watery in texture and in layers it's much more thinner the color is not as opaque but the effect it gives is the super editorial wet glossy lips for the staining power it really depends on the color you pick so example if you pick like a red of course it's gonna stain much much better compared to a light pink for example but they are quite similar in terms of adhesion also i'm trying my very best to not compare colors because it's not a very accurate comparison I'm just mainly like talking about the formula itself. Another lip tint is Laka Fruity Glam Tint. Now Etude is way much more translucent with like the first layer going on. Laka is full on butter spread, good coverage. Personally, I don't think it's possible for the Etude Glow Fixing Tints to hit that kind of like opaque opacity, just like the Laka one. So if you want to reach that kind of like juicy juicy thick kind of layer, then you really need to hit three layers at least. Now the last lip tint comparison would be the Peripera Ink Mode Glowy Lip Tints. This is one of my personal favorite glassy lip tints. Reason being the finish. The finish just kind of reminds me of glass candy. Somewhat similar to Etudes but there's just something about the wetness and shine. It just amped up a little bit more compared to Etude, even with the first layer on. Peri Peras Ink Mood Glowy Tint, the application is just slightly a little bit more even compared to Etudes. Alright, so that was the review. Now we're moving on to live lip swatches and colors. In total, you get five colors, two corals, one red, one pink, one mauve. I'm gonna take this lippy off and we're gonna start off with number one pure coral. As the name suggests, pure coral is definitely a coral colour but it's more of like an orangey reddish coral. This is one layer of pure coral and honestly, even though my personal colour analysis said that oh, you shouldn't be wearing corals, peaches because it kind of clashes with your skin tone, right? I don't hate this at all. I think this is a really pretty colour and I kind of dig it. It adds just the right amount of colour to your lips. Okay, maybe like, don't look at my eye look for today but this lip colour with like a lighter eye look, I think this will look really 
really pretty. I want to quickly test this out. I've been sitting here for maybe like 2-3 minutes waiting for the fixing tune to really like fix onto my lips, right? And we saw like my initial like first part of this video, my lips were kind of like not really giving any colour with mellow pink because I did take a couple of sips of water so I want to wait it out a little bit more and I'm gonna drink some water now. So I tried to catch the water but it actually kind of lifted up a lip tint and this is kind of what you're getting at least. So it's kind of like a half blotted situation, I guess. So as you can see, if I do the technique where I just one swipe for the bottom lip and the one swipe for the top lip, it kind of stains a little bit better. Plus the fact I've been waiting for like two, three minutes, it actually stains quite well. I would say that this lip tint is slightly more finicky because if you were to just apply it, wait for like 10 seconds and just drink something, I think you wouldn't even get this type of staining effect and more of uh, everything is gonna lift off my lips and there's like nothing on my lips and be like, this product sucks, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go in with one more layer now. So this is pure coral double layer. I will describe it double layer because the first layer, the colour stained pretty well, just that maybe if this is slightly less dew, but we can see that the colour pigmentation is really dead. I'm gonna block pure coral in a short minute, but I feel that if you were to wear a watery glossy tint, I would believe you want to retain that watery glossy feeling. So um, this is for experimental purpose, I guess. Here we go. Now as you can see, there is transfer on the tissue paper itself. It's not a lot, but it's not a little bit either. However, you still retain the dew and glow to it, which I think is still pretty impressive for a watery lip tint. But at the moment, I don't think you can really see the darker inner lip staining and the outer lighter lip staining kind of thing going on. It's only after like maybe a longer period of time, like an hour over, then you'll notice it. Now we're moving on to the second colour, Mellow Pink. This was the colour that I was wearing earlier on, but we're just gonna go with it either way. So this is one layer of number two Mellow Pink. What do you guys think? Personally, I'm not really a pink girly. I'm not a Barbie pink girly, but soft girly girl pink out of the five. In general, I feel that all five colors are rather mm, neutral, I would say. So it's very easy for different people of different undertones to wear these lip tints. I think that was a smart choice on Etude's part so they don't make like, extremely warm or extremely cool colors. Now, now let's go in the second layer, no blotting going on or whatsoever. With the second layer of mellow pink on my lips, you can tell that the pink definitely shows through a little bit more compared to the first layer. I think this would be good for daily wear or if you're someone who just wear like pink eyeshadow and you're looking for a pink lippy to go together but you don't want anything that is too like stark or in your face. I think this would be a good choice. Let's do a quick blot test. Again, staining power is really really good and there's still a little bit of shine to my lips. Even this blotted lip right still looks pretty good for today's look. I really like this colour a lot, surprisingly. Normally I'm not a pink girl but it's growing on me. Now the third shade, Dewy Fig, I would describe this as a coral pink. I'm gonna go in with one layer first. So this is the first layer of Dewey Fig. What do you guys think? I personally think that this colour looks as if if number one and two had a baby. This is it. It looks really really similar. It's like a mix of the two together because it's a coral and a pink. Let's go in with the second layer of Dewey Fig. I still think it's a little bit too close to both 1 and 2, so do what you have to do with that piece of information and make your informed choices. Again, if it were me, I would just kind of mix and match the colours because I genuinely don't think you'll need 1, 2 and 3. Gonna blot Dewey Fig. Again, transfer on the paper, I think we all know at this point, but the colour colour left behind is still really pretty, I actually really like it. I think on the lips, it just looks way too similar really for like 1, 2 and 3. The fourth colour is Chilling Red but it being a red, it's gonna stain like crazy so I don't want it to affect the results of this next colour, Morphment. So we're gonna do number 5, Morphment first. Like the name suggests, it's a mauve kind of colour so one layer of this. 
So the first layer of Morphin is on my lips and ugh, this colour, I am in love with this colour. If you can only check out one colour from this collection, okay, I'm just gonna straight up tell you, please check out Morphin because this colour is very unique. It's kind of purple but with like a hint of red and I don't think I have any lip tint that is quite like this colour. Now let's go in with the second layer of Morphin. So second layer of Morphin is on, as you can see, out of the five colours, I feel that this colour is the only one. Once with the second layer on, you can see that tonally, it gets slightly a tad bit darker, like a 10% bit darker. And I think it's still negligible, honestly. I just noticed it like a little bit. Also, I would like to point out that out of the five colours, in terms of staining, I believe that this is probably the weakest one probably because of the colour as well. I feel that in terms of colour, it doesn't really give such a vibrant stain compared to the other colours. You can still see there's definitely staining going on if you compare it to like my inner lip. My lips are starting to feel a little bit numb, but we're gonna breathe through the last shade, which is number 4, Chilling Red. Look at this colour. I actually love the colour, like body colour of this lip tint. We're gonna go in with one layer first. Chilling Red is probably the most pigmented in colour because with the first layer alone by itself, you can tell this is bright. This is asking to look at my lip. This bright red is leaning more towards the neutral side of things. It's not too cool, it's not too warm, but it's very suitable for even like summertime or springtime or autumn time or even winter, honestly. Like this is a great red lippy. I can see it being worn for like maybe like special occasions occasions or maybe you're just feeling confident and you love to wear a red lip, this is really pretty. I'm gonna go in with the second layer. Even with the second layer of Chilling Red, this colour doesn't turn deeper and it just maintains its bright neutralness, the chroma itself stays. So this red is truly one of a kind. Normally, I feel a lot of the reds, they actually either turn really warm or really cool tone. It's either one of the two for like the point red. But this red again, it's a neutral red. So it's actually very wearable for anyone. If you're anywhere near my skin tone, I highly recommend this if you're looking for a red lippy. Now if you're gonna ask me, Crystal, should I get the glow fixing tints? It really depends on your personal preference. You guys know that I never want to like, you must buy this, that kind of thing. No, that's that's not something I believe in. I understand that the original fixing tints are super popular and everybody loves it. And if you love glowy lip tints like I do, I highly recommend you to check it out. My top three color recommendations for like a daily lip color, I would recommend pick one out of the first three colors, Pure Coral, Mellow Pink, and Dewy Fig. See which undertones do you like. The last two colors, Chilling Red and Morphin, I would highly recommend it. I truly, truly love those two colors. If you're looking for like special occasions, maybe you're looking for a special shade a little bit more unique than your typical lip tints, those two colours, highly recommend it. Let me know, would you be picking up the glow fixing tints or if you've tried them, drop it down in the comments below. What are your thoughts? Do you like it, dislike it? I love to talk to you guys. And if you want to save some money, again, discount codes down in the description box below. It is a commission code again, so thank you so much if you do use it. And if you want to watch the swatch party of the original fixing tints from Etude, please watch this video over here. I did swatch all of the available shades from the Etude Fixing Tints, some limited edition shades I believe, and I will see you guys over there.